Hello and welcome to highlights of our short F1 2013 season in the aftermath of Codemasters' attempt at F1 2015. I was absent from round one in Albert Park, so without further ado, here are the highlights of round two from Sepang, Malaysia. Yeah, Ariel. I'll push the rest of the pack back into you, don't worry, buddy. I've got to I'll keep up the rear. <laughs> oh, no. DG. After a familiarly lacklustre <laughs> qualifying, I get off the line decently and approach the first corner with caution. When you're outside, do I exit? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh wow. These things are heavy. I just, what the hell's going on with my wheel? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unfortunately, a tangle with Frag brings it all undone. In my eagerness to rejoin the track, I collect Aerial Fox as he goes past. Luckily, there was no harm done. I would soon move up to 7th place as Aerial Fox struggled with a technical issue. With clear air, I begin to reel in Nether, who started on the prime tyre. As he struggles for grip around turn 7 and 8, I'm able to hook it up nicely for a move into turn 9. Nether sees me coming and doesn't argue the point. Yep. I saw you coming like you go underneath me. However, the good work is all brought undone as I get such a shock to see Bagsy pitting this early that I drive off the circuit, much to everyone else's amusement. <laughs> After resuming the chase of Nether, I gain a free position as Rambo spins off and punctures his tyre. I oh, come on! Hey, right, mate. I'm saying speak to you, Tommy Prickery. <laughs> come on! Yeah, I'm just trying to die along the quick gun, please. Well, like Family Guy says, bippity bippity boop. Bippity 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 as I come round to start lap 8, Nether is still exiting the pits, the undercut has worked, as the first signs of rain make themselves apparent. Rambo compliments Maddie on his fastest lap, having already beaten it himself. Good job, Maddie. Thank you. Good job, Rambo. First corner? Last corner. Oh. As conditions get wetter by the corner, Nether opts for Inters first. Bagsy, having pitted earlier than anyone else, is struggling on old primes and I've been steadily chipping away at the gap. Just ahead, Maddie and Heath are having a bit of fun too. Oh, Heathy! Hurry up! Your nose is in my ass. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What's very, the smell very like? descriptive there, I don't know why, but... No like thanks. Flowers. The time is right for Inters. Nether has caught significantly and jumped Bagsy. Track conditions worsen significantly, warranting the full wets. After several laps in the wet, the gap to Maddie is down to 7.5 from 12 seconds, while the threat from behind is lessening, with Nether's gap out to 8.6. With old wets wearing out, I pit for new ones, coming out behind Nether, who still has his original set of wets, as the engineers suggest that Inters may be suitable at this point. Oh my god, crash it in the front end. <laughs> I made a uh, corner. Let's clear it up. 
takes a while to dry though. At this point, looks like I'm set fair for 4th place. Gap to Matty is back out to 10 seconds. Nether took an ill-fated gamble for Inters. As the race draws to a close, the wets have given up for everyone. Inters have been the ideal tyre for some time now, but it was too late to pit. Mono crosses the line for a well-deserved victory. Oh, I just ran out of Bugger. Congratulations. Oh, I was so close to the fastest. Wait, was that you getting that radio message bagged you? What? To, to go pit? <laughs>